hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to see how you can convert the image to your PS64 so let's start with our demo app so as you can see we have a demo app where we have a button and with this button we can upload a photo where we can upload a photo using our camera okay so let's try this out I clicked on the button and now we have the camera we clicked an image okay so now here we have our image so as you can see we have our image which is our picked file so we'll see how you can convert this to the base 64 okay so let's start so first of all what we can do is let's get a string which will be used as a base 64 string okay so now we have the base 64 string so once we have picked an image using for this image picking we have used a package called image picker okay so now what we can do is we can once we have picked an image we'll simply have a list of type int and we'll name it as our image bytes okay and for this we'll have our file and now we're required to provide the path which is our picked file dot path and we will read as bytes sync okay so we'll use this make it a not null okay so once it's done we have to use this image bytes so for our base 64 string equal to we can use a dart convert so we get a function called base 64 encode and in this encode we need to provide these image bytes okay so these image bytes okay so let's just save the app and now what we can do is to check we'll simply use our debug print okay so we'll print our base 64 string okay so let's try this again let's hot restart the app we'll open our console okay so let's try it again we clicked on the button now we have our image okay we picked an image so as you can see in our console our debug base 64 string is getting printed so let's try to print this string as well here okay so let's try base 64 if it's null what we can do is we can simply show a sized box else we can show the text which is our base 64 string which is not null okay so let's just save the app so as you can see our base 64 string is printed okay we'll wrap our column with a widget called single child scroll views so that our render flex error will go so this is our base 64 string okay so i hope you got to know how you can convert the base 64 string using our image picker so let's see you guys in the next video